Hi everyone, I'm Honeywell and this is part two of our planet based challenge. Um, two things happened since I recorded last. There was an update and so we're now on version 1.0.6 or something like that. And I also watched the previous recording and the video quality was absolutely terrible. I don't even remember what I was doing. The video quality was terrible so I lowered some of the settings and hopefully that takes care of it. If not this series is going to end before it even started here. Very nice we reached survival. <laughs> what a splendid colony. One day after landing, your people are still alive. It's a nice touch. I know people get impatient with these cutscenes and not being able to... to skip them, but I like them. Okay, um... All of my bases are uh, pretty similar after a while. I want this processing plant here because I'm going to have a mine up there and I'll put a second airlock over there when I can afford it. And then, what do I need? A biodome. And this is actually painful to place the smallest size of this. But it's all that we can afford. There's a new prioritize work button. So we're going to try it out. Hopefully they'll put up the biodome first. I only had the processing plant place that first so I could plan out my structures as best that I could. And next we want to mine. Probably as good as it's going to get. Anyway, back to the recording recording quality. My uh, graphics card is starting to go on the fritz. Um, I've noticed a little bit of uh, artifacts in other games every once in a while. And I guess it's just not up to the task of recording. So I had to lower some settings and I'm hoping that resolves the issue. I've been hesitant to uh, replace my graphics card or any of my hardware just because I still played The Sims 2. And it, we're now on The Sims 4. So it's a, it's a pretty old game as far as games go. And I had to tweak so many uh, files to get the game to recognize my hardware and and graphics card already that I really don't want to mess with it until I absolutely have no choice. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, I think since I am recording, I'm going to speed this up a little bit, but know that if I was playing by myself without recording, I would be perfectly content to sit here on one time speed. And just watch what's going on. And start uh, planning out what I'm going to go be doing next. And actually, this is just, it's too fast for me. It might be like watching paint dry for you guys. I have no idea. But 
But this is a completely amateur effort, and I am in no way, shape, or form an entertainer, so it is what it is. I hope you enjoy it anyway. Maybe get some ideas for your own game. And I guess this uh, prioritize button does not work at all. This is a lot of uh, complaint complaints people have with the game is with the AI. Uh, I just go with the flow. I don't care. If my colony dies because my engineer didn't build this first, then I'm doing something wrong. But the forums are, are pretty negative towards the game and the AI in general. It's first the AI was terrible and the and they've been uh, patching the game every week uh, fixing some of these issues and now the last time I checked on the Steam forums it's the game is too hard. I like the game. I I don't know that I'll be playing it much after this but I think it's a it's a lot of fun it's uh, challenging and if you like Banished uh, I expect that you would like this game as well and yeah there is not much going on at all well, it looks like we do have an ore, so we can get this processing plant here. And uh, hopefully, when the engineer wakes up, who are you, Daria Briggs? Daria, yeah, that's right. Daria is sleeping in. She thinks that she made a mistake coming to this planet. Now she's going to mosey on over here. And we'll get some uh, plants again. The really, the really challenging part of this uh, planet and this scenario where we have to keep our colony ship and can't recycle it. So we're starting out with less resources than normal. Um, because of that, we only have, we only have one biologist, um, so they're not going to be able to manage much. From what I've seen, um, the biologists seem to be able to handle about three three items uh, per worker, per biologist. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, restrain myself and not fill in that last spot with anything other than a tree. And the trees uh, just, they, uh, they boost morale. And the way the morale system works is uh, colonists won't use the same item uh, in a row for a certain amount of time. So in the in the early game before you have bars um, you need to have a variety of morale boosters. So they can watch the TV and then if their morale is still low then they can look at a potted plant and if the morale is still low they can go to the tree and then cycle through the objects like that. The only exception to that is the bar. Um, your colonists and visitors. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that is devastating. I hope that engineer runs. Daria, what are you doing? 
No, Daria, run. <laughs> oh, what time is it? Thank goodness that happened early. So we have a little bit of chance to uh, get some power. Doria, she was, she really is uh she's really upset she came. <laughs> hurry, Doria, hurry. The colony is counting on you. That's better. Good job. Okay, and now we need food. So run, Daria. Come back. It's good enough. Well, there you go. It looks like they'll uh, patch this up to excellent, but as soon as they start working on it and it it goes above poor, I guess it starts working again, which is good to know. But we're going to have... We already have power issues, and we only have a few buildings. But losing that little bit of of time means we're going to have even more. Exciting times. So where was I at? I don't remember what I was talking about. What we need to... We've used everything that we that we have. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, plop in some... We had three plastics, so there's. I might as well use it. We'll put a potted plant. And I guess a TV. And we have one metal. Where is that at? What we're doing right now is hopefully saving up for a landing pad. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. So they can be bringing out the materials as it's made. And usually this isn't something that I would that I would do, I would wait until I have all of the materials, then place the object and everyone could just rush out there and build it. But because we don't have, we don't have a control center and solar flares are an issue on this um, planet, I like to place the object and let them bring it out one by one because chances are the person who's going to be uh, bringing out the the materials is going to be this carrier bot. And he's more disposable than, say, our engineer. If we lose our en engineer early on, I mean, I, it's not game over because hopefully, I mean, I would recycle whatever I needed to to get the landing pad up. Uh, to get a colonist in, but it certainly makes our situation more precarious. So we want to we want to minimize the risk of that. Okay, and the sun is going down, and this still isn't charged. Oh well, we still have time because it'll keep charging uh, into the night a little bit. So actually, as long as this gets up to 7,500, well, having it hit by a meteor didn't really impact us at all. It certainly seemed catastrophic, though. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, and as soon as the the power starts dropping, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, close the mine to conserve a little bit of power. Because it's not quite enough to make it through the night, I don't think. Not with the not with the mine and the processing plant. Okay, and you wanted to come out anyway at 96%. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off. And do you know what? I think I'm going to turn off the... Yeah, everyone's going to bed. I'm going to turn off the processing plant and the cafeteria. The only thing I don't want to turn off, and the reason why I'm even bothering to do this, is I want, regardless of what happens, I do not want our food production to to come to a halt. Uh, we don't have much. So there's not really that much room for, uh, for error there. And as soon as we get some workers up, we'll, uh... Okay, the next person out of the, out of the bed, and I'll turn back on the factory here. Actually, let's turn on the ca canteen in case they need to do something. We still have a good portion, but we're only a, uh, a quarter of the way through the night, so... So who knows? Oh, and there we have our worker who is idle because I have everything turned off. We'll uh, turn that back on and hopefully they'll get start working on this ore. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a long time before we have the materials for some uh, anti-meteor lasers. It will be a long, long time coming. I wonder... I'm going to turn on the mine for a little bit so she can get out there. I know I should not recycle the colony ship. It's the whole point of this challenge. So she can get out there and uh, break a bone. And then the first power low more, uh, message. I'll be sure to turn this off just so I can keep the biodome and the plants growing. Oh, and it looks like we have some starch. I'm going to put a bioplastic processor there. Oh, but I guess all the metal is, uh, well, that's all right. Actually, well, while we're waiting, it's a tough balancing act here. Where did our worker go? Uh, this is what infuriates people. Like our worker just went outside and then decided to come back inside. It is what it is, though. I mean... With this sort of, with this sort of game, I just uh, take it in stride and... And you plan around the the way the game works, or at least I do. Uh, but since no one is, is she going back out there? Yeah. Well, 
He should be fine. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit to get through the night. Yes, power storage is low. Even if it goes out for a minute, I don't think it's gonna affect that biodome much. Power storage is critical. And you're hungry? Okay, stopping for food is acceptable. Okay, it's a new day and what we have can look forward to today is maybe some nice solar flares. I think we had two meteor strikes, so that would probably uh, round it out. Uh, but I think this is as good a place as any to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully the video recording is uh, going to be okay this time. And I will see you back for part three.